Quick review for The Legend, Dune. Hello and welcome back to Shelf Centered. Here's my quick review for Dune. I love it. This was a reread in recent times. The movie did come out. It was brilliant. It's now up for, what is it, 10 Oscars, though. Denis Villeneuve, <laughs> Villeneuve is not up for best director, and that's a little frustrating to me. But anyway, I think he deserves it, especially if the movie's up for best picture. Uh, but anyway, this is one of my favorite books of all time. It made my top 10, and it's in the very top three of to get some spoilers out for my top 10 science fiction books of all time. It's not number one, though. That helps. Uh, but anyway, Dune is amazing. It's so good. It's so detailed. It's so rich. You are in there, and especially... I think that's what makes it so brilliant is it's this it's such a foreign place it's so interesting it is a bit dense and that is one of the things I think that pushes a healthy amount of people away but it's so interesting it's it really is just a, a, a well starting out with just a huge betrayal it's a tragedy uh, but overcoming that but it's it's not what it seems and it's not exactly what it seems on the surface but uh, it's so interesting the way that uh, Frank Herbert created the Fremen. And the Fremen are this people that live on the planet Arrakis, which is nicknamed Dune. It is essential, essentially a central part of the entire universe because Dune is where you get the spice, the spice melange. And that essentially powers, if you can call it that, space travel and so it's highly sought after it is very valuable it's only on this one planet so it is rare and the person in charge of the planet is going to be making some good money now the harkonnens who are the the worst enemies of the atreides they are the ones in charge of dune they don't treat the people there very well they don't care about anything about but themselves about or or their uh, money, the Atreides, they're good. They're the the good guys. They care about their people. The one of the things that threatens the emperor of this whole place, and that is uh, and and which the Atreides are a, a ducal fief, uh, the, the uh, Duke Duke Leto Atreides Atreides is. Uh, Duke under the Emperor, but one of the things that threatens the Emperor here and his power is the Duke's ability to gain a following and people that love him and will do anything for him. And the Emperor really doesn't have that like he does, even if he does have his elite fighting force, the Sardaukar. So Dune's brilliance, though, is really, it's in, um, I think, in the Fremen, in the, the way that Dune, or that Frank Herbert created this whole other world on this whole other planet, and these people whose every just survival ability is down to whether they can conserve water, and it's amazing how you start, you start reading it, and you go, I'm going to be careful with my water intake. And, um, and you really get so into it that it, it does become life. And it's so interesting what he's done here. Um, it's so powerful. It's such a good uh, book. Uh, just the betrayals that happened, the, as you can imagine, if these two warring people are even close to each other, but the Atreides are put in charge of Dune. I can't recommend this enough. It's, it's down to this whole different world that I can't even describe without really uh, uh, getting into too many spoilers and there's really not time in a quick review, uh, but I can't recommend it enough. It's dense, but it's worth it and you do get into it so you, you, you read past the density. Uh, in other words, uh, you, you get into the world that you're not noticing it as much, I think. So highly recommended. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Again, especially on reread, noticing so much more. So hopefully, let me know. How, what are your feelings on Dune? We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.